Okay, so now we're going to knit our four inch wide scarf and we're going to put the stitches together, the steps together, the way we just ran through them. We're going to make our slip knot. There's our first stitch, so we're putting it all together. Get that snug on the needle and using our long tail cast on, we're going to cast on our stitches. And I go a little faster from a few years experience, but to remind you, you're going to make a fist, separate it, bring it down, and go through. So now I'm going to speed on to get the stitches onto the needle. All right, so now I've got my stitches on my needle. I haven't put the 14 on, but you can. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. You always want to count your stitches to make sure you've put on as many as you wanted. And then I'm going to begin with the knit stitch. Needle's going to go in from front to back. You're going to try to keep your tail out of the way with the ball yarn. Wrap the yarn over and bring through the stitch and pop the old one off like that. And you're going to just keep doing that. There I go again with my continental. It's a force of habit. Front to back, wrap the yarn over and bring it through. Front to back, wrap the yarn over and pull it through. And you're just going to keep doing this. This is the knit stitch. This is the garter stitch. And for your scarf, this is what you would do for the whole scarf. You would knit every row. A lot of people find it therapeutic to do all knitting. When you get really good at it, it becomes a mindless way to knit or an easy project. But it's a great beginner project because you can learn a lot, get confident in your knit stitch, and get a decent scarf out of the equation.